Okay, shalom, shalom. Come here, shalom. Koholoyim la, Yahweh b'ashim yahushai b'ashim rechah hakodash. The honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who do real well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the akim and achwa. Let's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh b'ashim yahushai to the best of their ability. Shachanan wa. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit and um. Wanted to just talk um, talk on this uh, social media and just just the, the way of the wicked because this social media if it has any if it doesn't have anything to do with the scriptures it doesn't have anything to do with the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai then it's, it's wickedness man and it's a lot of demonic shit that goes on on social media man a lot of spirits are involved man and a lot of people learn things from and they don't really realize it because they. They take in so much, they have so much time and intake of hours and hours of information that they're just watching bullshit. And it just overtakes them, man, a lot of the times. Now, this particular story right here was the other day. I remembered it. Now, they're pretty much getting down to what pretty much kind of like may have happened or went down. Now, I don't doubt this. It says, girl angered by phone confiscation, suspected in deadly dorm fire. So this girl, you know supposedly they took her phone now she did threaten to burn that bitch down and i think she did burn the bathroom so they're figuring yes yeah, she she actually done this act so the information is pretty much there the evidence is pretty much there so you know hey it is what it is well, let's just read into some of it it says georgetown guyana investigators in guyana believe a fire that killed 19 mostly girls trapped in a school dormitory late on sunday was deliberately set by a student who was upset that her mobile phone was confiscated. A top official said Tuesday, the suspect who was among several injured people had been disciplined by the dorm administrator for having an affair with an older man. See, National Security Advisor Gerald Go Govia said. So that's one thing about the, the social media as well. See, the young ladies and young men. That's why a lot of them are coming up missing. A lot of them are being trafficked, you know. They're online with these with these older people. They're being groomed, all these different things. They and a lot of the times they, you know, these people talking them into a situation of, okay, well, you don't have to listen to your parents. You don't have to go through that. I got, you know, offering them gifts, offering them money, offering them just pack a bag and meet me here this time of the day, or you know, right after school, or just in the morning when you're about to go. Next thing you know, your damn children are gone, and 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 now, you know, it's. It's, it's happening so much. You can't even put on an Amber Alert. It's like, you know, it's just you see it on the news. Oh, have you seen such and such, such and such? Help us to find this child, right? It says the student had allegedly threatened to torch the dorm and later set a fire in a bathroom area. The fire raced through the wood, concrete, and iron gr grilled building after it was locked for the night by the dorm administrator or house mother to prevent the girls from sneaking out. She did this out of love for them. She felt she was forced to do so because many of them leave the building at night to socialize. See? See? They're not doing what they're supposed to do. They're not being obedient. There's no order when it comes. And this goes on all over the world. This is not just a, a place like this, man. You know if it's going on in a place like Guy Guyana, it's got to be going on real stupid rampantly here in the Americas and any of these other um, countries, man. It says... um. This is a very sad situation, but the state is going to work with the students and the families to provide all the support they need. All but one of the victims were indigenous girls ages 12 through 18 from remote villages. See that? Served by the boarding school of Madaya, a mining community near Brazil border. The remaining victim was a five-year-old son of house mother. See, and these, um, you know, Northern Kingdom, more than likely Northern Kingdom, man. Israelites from their respective tribe of the Northern Kingdom. Hey. And these curses are on our people real strong, man. It says many of the victims were trapped as the building burned, though firefighters were able to rescue people by breaking holes through one of the walls. The house mother was asleep at the time inside the building, but panicked and could not find the right keys to unlock the building from inside. But she made it out. She also lost her five-year-old child in the fire. Many of the nine people hospitalized victims are in serious condition. 
Police were expected to charge the man who had the relationship with the student with the statutory rape because she was under 16. That See? There you go. I, I, I get it, but, I mean, there you go. Come on, man. And then we already know the legal age uh, pretty much. Um, biblically, that, that would be not even a problem as far as the, a 16-year-old. She's able to make all these decisions, <laughs> you know. She was, she was, she, she obviously had been, uh, uh, I guess what you could say in love with the guy. If she felt so to the point of you taking her phone, she would go through those lengths of not being able to see this man. <laughs> you see like, God damn. It says Guyana government has accepted offers from the U S to send forensic and other expert teams to help with the investigation. Not, nope. The scripture says, never trust thine enemy. If you got the people over there that do that investigation, do that shit on your own. Do not let these so-called white people come off into your shit because they're not going to leave. <laughs> they're not going to leave. They're going to end up taking your whole shit over if they're not running it already. It says the government also was sending specialists in DNA identification to help identify remains of 13 of the 19 victims who died at the scene. Leaders from all over the world have been offering to help us at this time. They were calling and messaging President Ali while he was on the ground. Okay. It says Madaya is a gold and diamond mining town about 200 miles from the capital. Okay. Well, if it's a diamond mining town, so-called white people are already there more than likely and have already taken it over. Anyway, now let's go into some scripture real quick. And I'm going to come back to something else too. Because that social media is dogging our people the hell out, man. Our people are through when it comes to that social media. Straight up. Let's go into the book of um, Proverbs, though. Because I was reading this earlier. Start at a uh, verse. Let's see here. I mean, it's such a, the whole chapter, man. You, I mean, you can read the whole chapter. And I will buy, advise you to read the whole chapter. But I'm going to start at verse 10. Proverbs 4 and 10. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings. And the years of thy life shall be many. See that? Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings. And the years of thy life shall be many. So, had, say for instance, had this young lady had been receiving instruction or receiving discipline or receiving um, chastisement, so to speak. Because that's what that word instruction goes off into in the Hebrew, too. Um, well, uh, I'm saying, well, we haven't gotten to the point of the word instruction. But... That receive my sayings. Basically, it's instruction. But now, when you go down further, it's going to go off into my instructions. And that word instructions, like I said, in the Hebrew, it goes off into chastisement. You know, being, you know, chastened or being able to be reproved, reproof, listening. We're doing this for your good. You may not see it right now, but we're doing this for your good. And that's how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai done us when he gave us the law. He gave us the law, statutes, and commandments to go by. But once we stopped going by his instruction, that's when we started derailing and we was downhill from there, baby. It was just, it, it, <laughs> hey, without the law, statutes, and commandments, it's complete chaos and there's not going to be any order at all. It says, I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. See, when thou goest, when thou, when thou goest thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. See, in the NLT it says, when you walk... You won't be held back. When you run, you won't stumble. Verse 13, take fast hold of instruction. See, there we go with that word instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. See? And now this is going, you know, this is spiritually going off into, you know, the, the Hebrew Israelites and the law, statutes, and commandments that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gave, gave to us because it was for our life. It was what separated us from the, the, the heathen. It was what separated us from being basically brute beasts. Because if you don't have the law, statutes, and commandments, you're, I mean, you're no different than an animal. You're not, you're, you're, you're just going to be acting off impulse. There's no control. You don't have no temperance. You will just react to, you'll just do anything. Now, when a person knows these law, statutes, and commandments, and Yahweh is dealing with you through the Holy Spirit, you know, those scriptures will pop up in your mind. Like, well, you know, know what? The Lord said, don't do that. The Lord said, don't, um, you know, um, you know, do evil for evil. You know, don't try and take vengeance. Vengeance is of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? So had they had rules set in place for these young ladies, because, I mean, if they're in a school and they're in a dormitory, of course, the school is is, is responsible for them. You know, 
the school can be sued by the parents if something were to happen to their children. You know, so now who knows how this is going to play out. But anyway, you get what I'm saying. But has she been listening? Has she had somewhat of some self-control to herself? And especially, I mean, when you think about that, you're going to burn the fucking school now because they took your phone. What do you think that's going to lead to? <laughs> Come on, man. Anyway, let's 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 go on. Um, skip verse uh, yeah, 13 again. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her. For she is thy life. Verse 14. This is the point that I really wanted to get right here. Enter not into the path of the wicked. And go not in the way of evil men. And entering not into that path. That path is like a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, a way, uh, it's an entrance. Or it's a, you know, a, 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 a something that leads, you know, because you're following it. You know, if you've ever seen a, a path, you know, and you're, you're out for a walk. Or, you know, it may be some type of, um, you know, like in the city where I live, you know, you might cut across what they call a field and people will cut, you know, cut across that field so much. It's just a path there. The grass is growing on both sides, but it's just a path there. And that path is leading you straight away. You know what I'm saying? It's not wide. It's not, you know, um, a huge, huge path a lot of the times, but you're heading in a direction. You see what I'm saying? And it's really only two ways to go. When you really think about it, you can step off to the sides of it, but still you're going to be either going forward or you're going to either be going backwards. Right. So this path is a, is a, is, is basically the way of living of the so-called white man or the way of living of the, of the, um, the enemy or the, the, the way of, uh, of the wicked man. OK, it says avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it and pass away. See, let's get 14 again. Enter not into the path of the wicked. And go not in the way of evil men. And that 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 path of the wicked, that way of evil men, is gonna cause destruction. It's gonna it's gonna destroy you, right? Because it's, it's it, it because it doesn't produce life. It can only produce death. You're either gonna be wicked or you're gonna be righteous. It's there, there's no no in between there. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people you you, you can lean both ways. You know. But if you, you can only fall into one of them, <laughs> so to speak, you know. But um, let's get verse 15. It says, avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it and pass away. Now it says, enter not into the path of the wicked. Who's the wicked? It's going to Job 9 to 24. Because the wicked... Will want, he wants your children to not be um, obedient. He wants your children to um, to basically just be damn demons like they are. You know, this man, his, his, the so-called white man, his whole way of, of getting down is to turn your children. Because he understands that, you know, the scriptures talks about train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's older, he won't forget it, roughly paraphrasing. So they train your children up young to be these damn demons that they grew up to be, man. They take the man out of the home. That scripture that goes off into menstruous women have my um, menstruous women bringing forth monsters. These women are trying to raise these children on their own without the man. The, the, so the, the enemy knows that he's like, look, he knows how to fuck you over as a race of people. Get the man out of the home. We don't have to do nothing else. And they'll self-destruct on their own. They'll self-destruct on their own. We ain't got to do nothing else. This is Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? The earth is giving it to the hand of the wicked. So you have to who who's running the earth. I mean, if you're going to be honest with yourself, you got to say that it's a so-called white man. He's the one that's running the earth. He's the one that's, you know, he's got Navy ships everywhere. The man all out in space. He's got submarines in the ocean. He's telling everybody where they can go, where they can't go, sanctioning who he wants to sanction. You can't do to his money is, his, you know, his face is on all the money. He's got you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans going to get whatever he tells you to get to, go, to, to move about in the earth. You need his driver's license. You need his ID. You need to go and roll your sleeves up, take his shots. You got to get his passports. You got to just to move about, travel. He's in control of the food, the water infiltration systems. He's in control of, you know, um, if you want to have a house built, he's in control of if you want to go fishing, you need a damn license from him. So this man is running the earth. From every angle. Now you might say, "Ah, oh, no, there's other countries. Yeah, there are other countries that got their own thing going on, but they are they're part of this man's beastly system. 
You know, they drinking of the, the wine of Babylon. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere you go, it's pretty much throughout the earth. The whole earth is ruled by the thought pattern of the so-called white man. And that's even over in places like China, like a place like Hong Kong. Really think about um, South Korea or Japan. They may have their own little customs, but overall, these countries are being ran through the eyes and idea of the so-called white man and how he gets down. That's why you can go go to those places. And you'll see a Coca-Cola, a Pepsi, and you know um, some Frito Lays or McDonald's or Burger King. It, it's no different than the so-called white people. Babylon, the greatest running right here, man. So. And then it goes off until he covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wearing who is he? Now, the main faces of the judges, the, the main judge is the Lord, Yahweh, which the world, you know, they call him the Most High. They call him all these different names. But his name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. And the next secondary main judge is his son, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. They painted these pictures, whitewashed these pictures, gave you white Jesus and told you that everything is going to be OK as long as you worship one of the, you know, worship white Jesus. They gave you his image. That's how you know who's running the world. This man's image has been been through. This man's image is throughout the planet in all churches everywhere in the world with a so-called white man on it. Got people thinking that they could just do what they want, live as a complete damn demon when they when they fall. When they fall and things go wrong, all they got to do is just ask Jesus for forgiveness. See, so so I just wanted to make that point on that. Now, let's go back to Psalm um, Salakia. Let's go back to Proverbs chapter four. And like I said, read through the whole chapter because it's a beautiful chapter. All of them connect, though. They all connect. Let's start back at verse 14 again. I'm going to get it in the NLT. It says, do. It says, don't do as the wicked do. See, that's what that word path is going into. It's just basically you're doing what they do. It's not like, you know, you're actually getting out and I'm going for a walk today. You know, and I'm on this path that I'm going to walk in, walk on. It says, do, don't do what the wicked do and don't follow the path of evildoers. Don't even think about it. Don't do. Don't go that way. Turn away and keep keep moving for evil. People can't sleep until they've done their evil deed for the day. They can't rest until they've caused someone to stumble. See, they eat the food of the wickedness of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. See, and when you really think about this young lady, you know, she couldn't she couldn't dare go to sleep without her phone. She couldn't go to sleep without doing the thing that she the, the, the wrong thing. She couldn't do it. She couldn't just, you know, let me chill for a few days or whatever until I get my phone back, whatever, whatever. She gets so damn angry and following after the ways of, of, of cause see Esau is a, a very, we call him the microwave man. See, this man sold his birthright because he couldn't wait on food. He couldn't wait on food to get done, man. He was like, I'm, oh, I'm going to fucking die. What, what is my birthright to me if I don't eat nothing now? This is where you get this. This man got something in every home in America and throughout the world. It's called a microwave because people can't wait on dinner to get done. They need shit instantly. This man got a every every place you, you can go out on the streets right now. And you can hit a drive through at any restaurant that you can think of. Just drive through real quick. And then people don't get what they want real fast. Hey, they be jumping counters. These fuckers be jumping through the drive through windows. They just lose it. So just think when this cell phone shit and this this what this website stuff and this. You know, this Internet stuff falls, man. People going to lose their damn minds, man. Look at these little kids, man. You take that phone away from these kids, that tablet. They going damn nuts. And, and, and these parents are letting the tablet raise them. And so what what is the so-called white man pushing through the tablet? What is he pushing through these cartoons that they're saying? A bunch of damn wickedness, man. And the parents are not paying no attention because they, they're seeing they're on their end of their Facebook, their Instagram and all they bullshit and they getting some bullshit. So it's a bunch of wickedness that's moving throughout the airways of that shit, man. There's righteousness moving through the Internet and there's wickedness moving through the Internet. The brothers are on the highways and byways doing these lessons, these videos. They're pushing, you know, um, wisdom. They're pushing the Lord's word through the Internet. But you got the, the left hand side where it's just a bunch of bullshit all day. It's just a bunch of bullshit, man. It says, uh, verse 16 again, it says, for evil people can't sleep until they've done their evil deed for the day. And this is going into Esau, but but he, our people, that's why the scripture says, learn not the way of the, the wicked, man. Don't learn his shit. You leave that shit alone. You let him do what he's doing. You stay on the righteous path, man. 
And we, and though we fall, the scripture talks about, you know, a righteous man falling seven times, but he gets back up. You know, you at least have the, the common sense to know where by the spirit, you know, uh, hey, look, I can't continue that. I messed up. Lord, please forgive me. Help me to get on the, on the path again. Let me get back up on the bike or whatever and help me to keep on, continue on moving on ahead. You'll have a person that don't have that particular day. They, they don't have a spirit like that and, and they can fall and it just overwhelms them. It overtakes them and they never get up from that fall, man. Right. Verse 18, it says, um, the way of righteous. The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines ever bright, brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total darkness. They have no idea what they are stumbling over. And that's pretty much the piece. They don't even know. Matter of fact, our people have no idea that they actually have an enemy that's that's pushing shit out here for to kill their asses. They don't understand that. You know, they have an enemy, uh, 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 the spiritual demon Satan, and then the, 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 the counterparts that he moved through, which is a race of people, which is the wicked, which is the so-called white man. He is the wicked man that the Bible speaks of. Everything that this man does is destructive as hell. You know, he he, he comes at you with, it's going to do the world good, you know. That's just like, say, for instance, I always like to use the example of the freeway or highway or, um, you know, um, driving on a, you know, Basically a United States highway. Man, you get on one of them damn highways, man. You are jumping into a damn death trap. The only way that you don't die being on one of those, man, is by the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shemi Al-Bashai. Look at the chaos that be on it, man. You got people that's doing 80, 90 miles an hour on the damn freeway, and they all not paying attention to shit but they phone. Nothing but that social media. That's all that they're paying attention to. And a lot of the accidents that have been happening, you've been having a lot of hit and runs, a lot of pedestrians been getting hit. It's been a lot of road rage because people are on phones. That's what this shit is going into. Now, I pulled this, too, because when I when I thought about it, the spirit brought this to mind. Oh, Salakia, right here. Oh, Salakia. I had to pull this up. This is in the news with the, uh, the Surgeon General. This guy right here, right? Now, he's been, I, I, I remember him talking about um, loneliness. It's kind of like some new disease of loneliness where people are just, because people are not really interacting with people like that. If they don't have their social media, they're not interacting. They're not, you know, uh, they don't even talk to their parents. The parents don't talk to the children. It's, you know, it, it, they can be in the same house and the, and the mom will text the daughter and son like it's dinner time. They won't just, you know, yell upstairs, hey, the dinner is ready. Come down. We're going to have dinner, you know, and put them goddamn phones down until we're going to have a social, social talk for real. No, it's not like that. So he was going into that at one point. Now, this new thing that he's talking about. That was a few weeks back when he was talking about that. Well, now he's talking about social um, surgeon general warns that social media may harm children and adolescents. Oh, yeah. You think you think. They ain't doing nothing else. That's all they got. You know, the damn phone is raising them. They're getting their, their education from the phone. You might as well stop waking up and taking these kids to school, man. These kids are educated because they ain't paying no attention in the school. They in school on the damn phone. You see? And I'm not going to go all off into this. You know, I don't want to keep it long. But when I seen that story, I'm like, well, hey, we, I might as well connect this one with it. And, and it's something that you can go off into yourself. You know, but they talk. That's the reason why socially that well, you know, they're trying to get rid of TikTok and they're talking about that data and all that other stuff. But really, in reality, these American kids have been doing some of the dumbest shit with this TikTok challenge stuff, man. And I think America is pretty um, embarrassed by a lot of what, what what they're starting to see on there as far as their people, because these damn Americans don't lost their fucking mind when it comes to TikTok. <laughs> Straight up. So this social media is doing the thing to them, man. You got the young chicks on here, man. You, 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 you know, they're 13, 14 years old. They already done developed. They got bodies and they on here taking pictures. You thinking that they're 19, 20, 21. It's nothing for somebody to hit them up and say, hey, well, should you, we'll book you. We're doing a photo shoot and whatever, whatever. Next thing you know, your damn daughter gone. She's on a Greyhound bus to wherever. She didn't took a flight to them wherever. Now you, you, you got a flyer out. My baby missing. You see, now that situation with the, with the, <laughs> hey, this is what it is though, man. She was pissed because they, they took her phone from her. Now, and I can contest it. I can, you know, I can, um, I'm a witness to, I can remember, this was years back too though. Um, my sister, a grown ass lady, she had to, um, you know, 
they was doing some work on her phone. Something had happened to her phone at AT and T. I mean, you know, so she took it to the AT and T store. They was, you know, working on it, working out the kinks or the problem or whatever it was. I forgot what it was, but ended up it was getting later and the store had to close. You know, so they was gonna keep the, the phone and she was supposed to come back that very morning, first thing to get it. Man, she was crying. She was crying. She couldn't handle it. She couldn't handle going a night without her phone. She couldn't handle not being able to get on her Facebook, man. So, hey, you know, you brothers and sisters, man, that's into this truth. Hey, do all that you can, man, to, 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 to keep your children off those phones to the best of your ability. Because it's warm out. Take them out to play. Take them out to do something. Take them to the park. Do things that's, that's outside of the electronic shit, man. Don't let them just sit there on, on these phones all day. On these tablets, man. Now, I'm on my phone quite a bit, but the only thing that I do on my phone, I don't even get no texts. I don't get no phone calls really like that. Every now and then, it's rare. Only thing that I'm doing on this phone is scouring through the news to watch and, and, and praying and, and, and doing lessons, man. That's all that these phones are, 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 are useful for. That's it to me. That's all they're useful for. I'm, I got the YouTube on here. I'm just basically, it's all social media for me, but I'm doing it. And, you know, in a righteous way, I'm doing it for the, you know, I'm, I'm just scrolling through news, looking for lessons to do, bringing out information because the scripture says to watch and pray. I do the lesson. I post it. And then from there, it's a wrap. You know, I'm not all on there, man. I'm not going to check out nothing. I don't. <laughs> it's, it's done deal for me from there, you know. But now, like I said, again, my my I would have to say my addiction on, on this thing would be is me scouring through the news, looking for lessons to do. Literally, that's what I do most of the day. And, you know, while I have an opportunity to bring out something that's, um, you know, edifying to the flock, man. Other than that, man, that's a waste of damn time. All that scrolling through pictures and swiping left, swiping right and doing this and doing that. Damn challenges, you know, and all kind. Nah, man, I ain't into none of that, man. I don't give a shit about none of that. We're trying to get out of here. You see? And, 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 this, and, and see with this social media, next thing you know. Another thing that you have to think of when it goes next level, the next level is going to be Revelation 13, 16, MOTB. It's not going to be a problem for them to um, um, get this shit into your children. Because why? You see how this fool acted? Her phone was taken from her and she burnt down the goddamn building. So you already know if the, if the so-called white man is saying, well, hey, this is the only way that you can have your social media accounts. This is the only way that you can continue to be um, Internet savvy or be on the Internet at all. You have to let allow us to implant this shit in you. And this younger generation, they're going to go for it. It's not going to be a problem because why they're already being trained into being that way. That's why I brought that scripture. Let me end out with this. That scripture um, in Proverbs, Proverbs of. Uh, so chapter 22 and verse 6 it says train up a child in the way he should go and when he is old he will not depart from it see and what's been what's going on so you have to realize these children they're coming right out of their mom sitting in a stroller a year later with a fucking tablet in their hands man all the way through until they're four five six seven eight nine ten that's all they know they won't get up from the TV. They're either on a video game, on a phone, or a video game. When the TV is all virtual, this, virtual, that. I just seen a virtual class, a metaverse class. I forgot what country it was, but they had all the kids in there with the, you know, the um, the glasses on. And, they're, you know, it was going off into just some freaky looking ass guy on there talking about how the kids are not going to, you know, they won't have to leave their, you know, their personal space to go in their space and you know do a heart transplant and you know just a you know all this metal all this different stuff man but see they already know that those children they 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 got them they got them see with us younger i mean you know with us older generation you know they they yeah it's a hey, it's people it's our people people in our generation too nuts so about this shit too don't get me wrong but it's not like how it is because they got your children already it's all that they know. They don't know anything about a, a CB radio or a walkie-talkie or a landline telephone um, in, in the house or, you know, no other way of communicating. Hell, the, the average so-called, you, you ask one of these 16, 17, 18-year-olds, 19-year-olds, can they fill out an envelope and send a, a letter in the mail? They're going to tell your ass no. They're going to tell you no. <laughs> They're going to tell you no. Why? Because those things are obsolete. They can send you an email. They can send you a text. You know, they just might, you know, send you, shoot you a PDF file. But they're not going to be able to fill out an envelope and put a stamp on it. And, and they don't even know where, who, who, you know, where to put their name as far as uh, uh, 
who's sending it and they don't even know where to put their name as to who's receiving it. Willing to bet you. You see, so this place is through. It's already they're already genetically. Basically, I mean, they're trained. They are already trained from the womb up. This new generation is all about social media. That's it. That's it, man. <laughs> These are your hackers, you know. But anyway, I just wanted to touch on this for a hot second, man. You know, um, again, you brothers and sisters, man, that's in the truth. You have children. Hey, cut, limit that time, man. Limit that time. Be in control of those passwords. Don't let them just, you know, just, uh, no, you don't get to go to bed. There's no fucking phone or no tablet in your room when you're about to go to bed. You're not going to be, uh, you know, you're not going to be under the cover talking to uh, Jimbo Jim, the 35-year-old, and you're 16, you know, so to speak. You know, and I'm telling you, man, that shit is dangerous, especially with these little girls, man. These, well, I, I got to say young ladies because at 16, they ready to go. They ready to go. They already. They ready. They, they. They. They got that. They got. They need that. Um. That itch scratched. They ready to go. But I. <laughs> but some of them just don't. They don't have that mental capability of self control. That temperance. Like you know. You can clearly see if you set you set a whole goddamn building on fire because somebody took your phone. Just wait, man, until till shit hits the fans and, and you got millions of them. These crazy motherfuckers, man. They can't control themselves like that. Just wait. It's going to be, it's, come on, man. These households are chaotic because of this social media and these phones and stuff, man. Because the kids won't put it down. I, it was, uh, I done a lesson on this one, um, one, well, I can't call him a kid, young man. You know, he ended up tearing up his parents' house and shit because they took his phone. Here you go. You paying the phone bill. You in control of the phone. It's your, it's, it's on your name. It's your account. He don't have nothing to do with it other than you gave it to him just for what well, is this for emergency calls. All right. I get that. OK. You know, just in case something happened, the kid got, you know, a phone in the backpack or something like that to hit mom or dad in case something go down, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, man, they allow these kids to just take just they, 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 no parental control whatsoever, man, when it comes to this shit. And again, he saw he got your kids. That's why that scripture says train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So with that, hey, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Hashallah.